and welcome back to my channel. I'm filming this in the most echoey room. Gotta go. So this morning has been absolutely crazy. Let me just give you a recap. So I stayed up to like 3 a.m. last night because my friend that I haven't seen in like a year called me and he came over and me, Dallin, and him all hung out and caught up. So that was crazy. Woke up at like 11 this morning, had to go to some Facebook Marketplace deals, and then I get these dressers, which, oh my gosh, I'm freaking obsessed. I finally have dressers, which is so nice. I've been needing them for so long. So this girl hits me up who was selling me these dressers, and I haven't been able to go pick them up because she couldn't get to her storage unit, and she was finally like, hey, let's do it today. So I was like, fair enough. So I called Logan, my brother. He's like, yeah, I'll help you. Let's get the trailer. We drive to my parents' house. The trailer's at my other brother's house. We drive to my other brother's house, and he was like hauling something off with the trailer, so it was like full capacity. We couldn't fit anything else on it. So my two brothers follow me to the storage unit. We wait on this girl. My brother Logan and my brother Michael were there. Michael ended up having an appointment he had to leave to. So somehow we fit all of this stuff, all of it, in the back of my brother Logan's truck, which he also keeps a bunch of stuff for work in there. So I have no idea how we fit all of this in there. Then we all brought it in here and we went to Taco Bell. And now I'm gonna go to my hair appointment and I'm dyeing my hair. Oh, I left out a detail. Sorry this is so long. <laughs> As you can see, my bed is bare and looks kind of disgusting, right? Well, ever since I got my cat, he's peed on my bed, especially when I like first got him. He doesn't really do it anymore. So every time I wash my sheets, they just smell like cat pee again because my bed smells like cat pee. So I found this like thing, um, it gets the stains out. So I did the treatment once, you're supposed to do it three times, but it's already made the biggest difference and it already smells so much better. So moral of the story is I've had a absolutely crazy, hectic, full morning, afternoon-ish, and now I have like 30 minutes to get completely ready and head over to the salon. Okay, now that I've talked forever super freaking fast, I am going to hop in the shower and get completely ready super, super fast because, psh, well, um, don't have time to do anything else. To explain how hectic my day is, I just took a shower with my glasses on. I was like, why is everything foggy? I was wearing my glasses, so go me. I literally have like one minute to do my makeup. I mean, it's fine if I'm a little bit late, but I'd rather not be late. So here we go. I've always found that when you try to do things in a rush, it takes longer because you're trying so hard to go fast that you have to redo it a bunch and you just don't do it right. So if you just tell yourself you're not in a rush, everything works out better. Oh, my hair kind of smells like my cat. Goodbye, Ace. I love you. My house is literally a mess right now because I'm like deep cleaning everything. You know how that goes. Everything has to get more messy. I can't open the freaking door. My hands are too slippery. Ah, oh, there we go. I was literally turning the handle the wrong way. Everything gets messier before it gets clean is what I was trying to say. We have officially left my house. I'm actually surprised. Am I going the right way? Okay. Right, we're on our way. I'm actually not going to be too late. My appointment's at 3.30 and my estimated time arrival is 3.37. So we're doing pretty good. And like my makeup, I don't want to crash. I'm on a road with no cars, so it's fine. It actually looks pretty good, so. Sorry that this whole beginning of the vlog was so hectic and crazy and just me talking. Um, that's about how my day is. So you guys are seeing the real deal here. Yes, when you get green lights and you're running late. Oh my gosh, I literally just realized I got halfway there and I was like, wait. I think my appointment's next weekend. Check my text messages. It's next Saturday. I'm actually a mess. Um, my life, don't know what's happening. Well, I'm back home. <laughs> I pretty much have to vlog today because I planned on my post being this video. So I guess you guys get to watch me finish cleaning and I got some new stuff to hang up in my house. So it'll actually be kind of entertaining. I actually just got a package this morning, forgot about it. It's just been on my porch, so gotta get that. I'm so excited about this. It's one of those bookshelves you put over your toilet and then it becomes like storage. And I thought it'd be so cute because I don't have very much storage in my bathroom. Just look how many boxes I have in my house. That's what happens when you move into a new house. You just have so much Amazon packages. All right, let's open this bad boy up. I hope it doesn't require too much assembly. So I really just don't feel like that. Oh, uh, it seems like it's gonna be a lot worse. Okay, what I thought was gonna be 
15, 20 minutes turned into an hour, but we have it complete. Let's go put it in my bathroom. After all that, I ran into a problem. Let me just explain. So because my toilet is cool and modern and has the things right here, I couldn't actually set it on top of here and have the legs touch the ground. So the legs are just floating right now and I just screwed it into the wall. So it's literally hanging by those two questionable screws that definitely aren't in studs. Is this gonna fall? Very potentially. Does it look a little questionable? Definitely. But does it work for now? Absolutely. Oh, he's so dead. I will say that this looks better than before. It's more organized, but it's just like, I don't even know. We're just gonna love it for the way that it is. I wanna get cute little jars for my cotton swabs. What do people call these Q-tips? and my cotton balls. So I think I'm actually gonna go to Goodwill and see if I can find some. Before I go to Goodwill, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of laundry and put my second coat of my mattress wash stuff on it. I have so much laundry to do, but I have a wash and dry now, so I can do it. So, sorry that's so loud, but I found this recipe on YouTube of how to get rid of stains in your mattress, which I desperately need. It's basically just a cup of hydrogen peroxide, and then you do two tablespoons of baking soda, and then you do just a drop of dish soap. And I'm doing it three times, letting it sit for 30 minutes in between, but I've already done it once and it's made such a difference. finished applying my second round so now I need to wait until about 520 and then I'll do it again. I just realized that it is brush hour. Goodwill is super close to my house but I mean still that means there's gonna be a little bit of traffic trying to get in there because everyone goes after work. I'm just laughing because this video was supposed to be a dyeing my hair transformation with surprising my boyfriend type of video and it just has turned into a hectic day in my life of trying to adult and decorating my bathroom which I'm not even mad about because I wanted to get all this done and I wouldn't have had time if I did my hair so everything works out I guess um why does this always happen came for one thing got like seven things Okay, quick Goodwill haul. First, I got this jar, which is absolutely perfect for cotton balls or Q-tips. I got two pots of flowers just like this. They're literally the exact same. So I'm gonna put one on my porch and then one as decor somewhere in my house. This wall, I just don't know what to do with. It's just a giant wall in my kitchen and I don't know what to put on it. Okay, then I got this basket and I'm hoping it'll fit in my bathroom because it has like things to break up and that would be so good for all my bathroom stuff like face wash all that you know how it goes two sets of hangers because i literally never have enough hangers in my house got this jar with a cork lid i'm just literally gonna go dump this sand out in my backyard and use this for either cotton balls or q-tips okay that actually ended up working out so unbelievably perfect let me show you so over here we have my jars with the cotton balls and q-tips there's a lot of white going on so i think i need a new plant that like hangs over i have one and then this worked out so perfect i've got my like curology cream face wash moisturizers so i don't really know what to get where to get it or whatever but i guess i need to get measurements i want like something right here that's just a bunch of drawers for hair supplies Oh, I forgot I had all my swimsuits back here. I can put them in drawers now. I literally have so many swimsuits. I don't know how it happened, but I just have so many. Literally almost forgot. I can put my socks and underwear in a drawer too. Another great thing about having a dresser is that my cat has peed on my clothes like three or four times since I've moved here because they've just been in piles for him to like climb on and they probably are comfortable to pee on, I guess. So now he can't pee on my clothes. Okay, one more update. I brought in this plant instead, and then these are just fake plants. I also wanna get a tissue holder thing cause that does not match the vibe, but this is what we're working with right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed somewhat. It was kind of crazy, but that's life for ya. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.